everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with an outfits video that I plan on having with me when I go to Iceland. So yes, you read it right. I should be already in Iceland by the time I upload this video. I am pre-recording it because I always find that it helps me organize my outfits by you know, matching and pairing certain items and then basically make sure I don't forget anything last minute. So I always like to travel very efficiently, which means I don't like to carry extra things in my suitcase. In this particular case, since it is going to be a multi-flight, meaning it's not a direct flight, I don't want to check anything if I can because I don't want something to get lost while I, you know, in transit. So the best way is to keep a carry-on with you, but that's not easy because I'm going for a little over a week and it is going to be cold in Iceland, even though it's the summertime. You read that right. This is the last week of August, and we are going to be in the weathers of 50 to maybe 58 degrees Fahrenheit high, um, and like 50 degrees low, uh, Fahrenheit low. So it's gonna be quite cold for a summer, you know, uh, vacation, but there's gorgeous views. If you ever seen or heard of Iceland, um, they have a beautiful waterfalls, rock formations. There's actually an active volcano right now. So these are all very outdoorsy things. So that's your jam then. Yeah, I would highly recommend. I will also try to do a video, a vlog of my trip and tell you how I I get around. My thoughts are to take a van, a camper van, and we're going to drive it around Iceland. And along the way, we're going to pick routes to hike, to see things. We're going to try to snorkel. We're going to try to kayak. And of course, we're going to go to some hot springs or hot water baths. So again, if you're interested, definitely stay tuned, subscribe so that you'll be notified of that video when it comes up. And yeah, I'm going to be doing this all during COVID restrictions. Again, I will update you what I have to do. And if you're interested, what you should do to get yourself ready for an Iceland vacation. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I love handbags, luxury, fashion and travel. So if you like any or all of those things, definitely consider subscribing. If you're back, welcome back. You'll know that the last time I went to Hawaii, I did one of these videos on what I packed, my outfits, and I also then later did a vlog of my actual trip. So this is sort of what I'm trying to go for, except this is an entirely different vacation. Like I said, the weather here is going to be, you know, in the 50s, whereas Hawaii was like in the 80s. So the packing is going to be a little bit more strategic here. What I've done is curated a bunch of bottoms and tops I can mix and match. And because we're gonna be in a camper, there's obviously not a washing machine. So a lot of these things, if I need to wash it or if I need to you know, hang dry it, it will have to be in the camper. I'm gonna to try to incorporate layers into my outfit so that I could easily wash something um, because you know a sweater takes a lot, lot longer to dry than let's say a dry fit top. Just to get this started, I'm gonna bring my away luggage. Now, I bought this away luggage, I think, last year sometime during a sale. Haven't brought it anywhere first time, but this one is one of the uh, ones that there's a removable battery external, so that's great because then I can carry this around with me and charge. Um, I also love that it's a hard top because I, I think it could keep my suitcase dry um, rather than the fabric material, but it also has this really cool zipper pocket in the front, which I've always been frustrated about with hard cases because it's hard to get inside if you want to just grab your like iPad, for example. It's a lot easier when you have those pockets. So this is a great feature. Um, I will link this item below as well as all the things I talk about here if I could find it. Um, I hope they're still available. Like I said, some of these things I did purchase last year. So yeah, hopefully they're still available. I also get a personal item, which case I will bring this backpack. So I'll, the suitcase may carry on, the backpack is my personal item, and I'll keep a lot of my like uh, important documents and other things in here. The cool thing about this backpack is also that I'll be hiking with it. So this is my hiking backpack as well as my personal item. Starting with my first outfit, which is the one that I'm gonna to wear to the airport. It is my trusty Marine Layer Allison trousers. Now I have brought this to Hawaii. I love traveling in this. It's so easy, it's so soft. This is gonna be a little bit thin for 50 degree weather, but I think in terms of traveling from SFO, 
in the airplane, on the airplane, I think I should be okay. I also wanted something that it's easy to throw on, especially when I'm going in and out of spas. I don't want to wear leggings during, because you know, when your skin is wet. So this is a great option. Again, this is something that is thin enough for it to wash and dry in the car, I believe. So I think it's a great option. I will be inserting mod shots all throughout, and I will also try to loop some at the end so that you can see it all together. In terms of tops, I have a bunch right here. The one that I'll be probably wearing on that first leg of the journey is this one but honestly all of these tops are interchangeable so I have the Everlane long sleeve this is a very thin cotton tee very comfortable breathable I'm gonna wear it um, with the marine layer bottoms I just showed you and I probably wear it with my thick jacket I have a North Face one right here this one is my snow jacket which seems crazy to be wearing in the summertime but it has a waterproof shell, but it could be detached from this um, puffy kind of layered jacket, which means I have a two-in-one. Um, I'm able to uh, take off the shell or just just wear um, just wear the shell or just wear this puffer jacket if I want it to or wear it together. But because this is such a big item, I like to wear it with on me when I'm traveling because it doesn't take up space. So like I said, the tops that um, I am bringing are fairly interchangeable. I have this one, which is a very good value for what you pay for, and I will be linking this below. I'll also show you a few things that I have here, which um, I'll be pairing with all of these outfits. This is a Sweaty Betty Merino wool long sleeve. Again, very thin. I don't know if you can see through it, but it's very thin, but because it's Merino wool, it'll keep you cool and warm and not smelly. So yeah, it dries fast as well because of how thin it is and it can go with many, many outfits. On the same note, I do have a Uniqlo long sleeve thermal top. This can go on its own or it can go under something else like a sweater. This is an Intimissimi, again, very thin silk and wool. I don't know if you can see through it. Top, again, I would probably wouldn't wear it alone because it's very sheer, but it'll go very nicely under a sweater. So the sweater that I'm gonna bring is this one. This is the Madewell knitted sweater. Um, it was on the anniversary sale from Nordstrom and they had so many colors. I picked this navy blue one, but yeah, any of these long sleeve thin ones can go under here because on a hike, likely chances are I'll get sweaty and I can wash this thin one. This will dry a lot faster and I could reuse this one for another cold day with another under layer. I also have a t-shirt. I don't think it'll be warm enough to just wear a t-shirt, but you never know. I have this uh, camo one and again it's 100% cotton. I can also wear this over like a long sleeve if I want it to. It'll look kind of odd like <laughs> it reminds me when I was in middle school but um, yeah you can kind of wear it so that you know the sleeves come out but yeah basically it's another option to layer up. The last top that I have here is actually this one. This is going to be my pajamas top but at the end of my trip I'll likely wear this pajama top as my uh, top to go back home on the plane. So those are all the tops that I have and I'm going to be matching it with all these bottoms I'm going to show you now. Besides the uh, Marine Layer Allison pants, I also have a few here. They're mainly leggings just because um, I think hiking in leggings is a lot easier for me. I picked out uh, a pair, well there are two pairs of Sweaty Betty leggings. I love these so much that I have in multiple colors. Multiple colors, yeah. Multiple designs as well. But these are the Power Holds. Um, they are so worth the money. They are so stretchy, comfy. They're on the thinner side, but again, you can layer these up. What I really like about these is that it has a pocket right here. I don't, I don't know if you can see, my phone fits right here. There's also a zipper security pocket at the back of the waistband and it just fits me perfectly, especially for a short girl like me. I'm 5'1 or 155 centimeters and the ankle length option fits perfectly. So I have a burgundy colored one here. I also have a gray one here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring the gray one this time around, um, just because they're so similar. I also have a pair of 
black leggings. These are fleece lined. This one has a, a slip pockets here, but mainly for like cards and cash, something small. And on the back, there's again, this waistband area has a zippered pocket. So that's where I could put my phone. It's not as convenient as the slight slip pocket, but this will do. The reason why I want to bring this one is because black is harder to see if it gets dirty, but also because it's fleece lined, I could be a, lo a little warmer with just wearing this. It is expected to rain 40% to 70% of the time uh, every day. Inevitably, you're gonna get wet. So I did bring a pair of waterproof pants. These are quite wide, as you can see, but they work well if you wanted to wear a pair of leggings underneath. So all, all three pairs of leggings I showed you here would fit perfectly under here. And yeah, I'll keep me dry. There is a day that I think we're gonna go kayaking, so these will come in handy. I also bought this one off Amazon and it wasn't too bad in price, but you have to be careful with Amazon because a lot of the times it says waterproof and I've tried a couple already and they're not. And I had to try those before coming to this one. So I'll link this one below if you're interested. They also come in kid sizes, which is actually what I purchased because adult sizes are way too long for me um, in case there are any short gals out there. Another pair of trousers that I have is this pair. This pair is not waterproof, but is water resistant. So if rain hits it, it will slide off but after a while it might get wet anyway it does have a lot of zippers um, all over the place as you can see and like a snap pocket as well another zipper pocket in the back this one is again a black color so it would keep uh, the dirt it wouldn't look as dirty if I go hiking in it and get muddy but yeah this one would definitely keep me warmer than the leggings and probably a little bit drier than the leggings finally the last bottom I have here is this pair of Zella lounge pants. These are from the anniversary sale from Nordstrom again, and I do plan on wearing them as pajamas with this atop. It's very snugly, very warm. It has pockets, um, and it just feels very comfy. Again, this is something that I plan on wearing on my leg journey back to the U.S. Um, because I want to utilize everything. So after I'm done wearing it in paja for pajamas, I will wear it for reals, <laughs> like real wear. So that's what I'm bringing for sleepwear, but also for travel. So I already showed you the jacket. This is one of them, this waterproof. Everything I try to bring will be somewhat waterproof, at least on the outside, because it'll keep me dry. But yeah, this one is great. It is, I am a little worried because it is white. So we'll see how that goes. But I did bring another jacket and it's this one this is a rain jacket it's not going to be as warm it is lined right here when this like sort of cotton twill material um it does have pockets and it's a little bit more cropped it's very you know rain ducky kind of wear very cutesy but i wanted something with a pop of color just because everything else looked kind of dull um and yeah it has a hood it has pockets like i said and it actually fits me quite well because i am more petite so it's not like super long but yeah this one goes with a lot of my other outfits that i just um pointed out and so yeah I decided to bring this one with me as well the final I guess outerwear is this plaid jacket a shirt jacket and it is not waterproof but it is very soft it's double layered it's very heavy duty and it has two pockets on the side I mainly will be wearing this sort of in the car or like you know when I wake up right before I go to bed because I don't want to be wearing these like you know swishy material it just doesn't feel as comfortable this is way more snugly this is something that i could wear if we're cooking in the you know in the camper if we're eating um just something around the car but not something i would probably i probably would not hike in this next i'll go into some shoes in all the outfits that i've been pairing you'll see that i've been wearing them but i'll just point them out here the pair that i'll be traveling in are these vessies these are the vessi sneakers and they're meant for more um, city street walk, but I think they're very comfy and easy to slip on. They're also waterproof and washable, which means they are perfect for this trip. I don't think these will keep me very, very dry. If I'm just in the airport, if I'm just walking from place to place, I think they're, they'll be fine. Another pair of, of shoes I plan on bringing are these. These are the Sorel out and about duck boots, and they are waterproof as well. As you can see, they come in many different colors. I chose this one. This one, I think. I can hike in but it's you know if it's anything like very slippery terrain it probably wouldn't do the job however if I'm just walking around the lake or if I'm you know um, just walking around some towns where it is pouring but I'm not like hiking up a steep 
mountainous trail. Uh, these ones are probably fine. And the workhorse of the hikes are these ones. These are my oboes. I've hiked in these. I usually, if I go anywhere that needs a lot of hiking slippery areas, I would bring these. They are very dirty, but yeah, they, they are comfortable and they are very sturdy. So there are a few times where I like stepped weird and these saved my ankle from getting twisted. However, I don't want to be in these like for long periods of time because they, they are very tight and snug. And so my feet starts to like get uncomfortable in them after a while. So which is why I have the other options uh, that are waterproof. Finally, I have flip flops because if I go into, you know, the hot springs, the communal baths or, you know, any showers, you definitely want to bring a pair of flip flops with you so that, you know, they can get wet and get dried really quickly. I'm gonna move, move on to bags next. I have three bags. Um, you might have already seen this one, which is my personal item. This one, oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned already, but it comes with a cover under here and this cover is waterproof. The bag itself is not waterproof, but if I put this over it, it will become waterproof. It's not the most convenient because you have to take it out when it rains and if it rains, it's not like on off, on off, you don't wanna keep taking it off and you cannot get into the bag unless you take it off. So it's not the most ideal, but if I'm hiking for long periods of time, that might be a good thing to just cover this bag up. But it has a lot of um, things that you can hook things onto. It has a lot of pockets and it is, fairly structured, so it's good for your back. So yeah, they have little vents, padding, everything. It's, it's, it's a legit hiking backpack. Not so legit hiking backpack is this one. This one is more, definitely more city, more for the city, but I did want to bring something that has a little bit more color in it. This one is by the brand Rains and it is waterproof. So, and that's why I brought it. It is adjustable. It has a uh, little clip closure right here and then a drawstring close. It does not fit as much as the other backpack, but it, you know, if I'm doing a short hike and I don't want to bring something that heavy, I could bring this. The good thing about this one is that I don't need to put anything over it. It's waterproof as is. So everything I put in here will be dried unless I like dunk it in the lake or something. But yeah, this one is a great option for me because it looks more cute, I think. And I, I definitely want to like incorporate it into my outfit. Last bag that I have here is this one. This one you've seen before. I've raved about it. This is the Marie de la Roche Octavio backpack, or it can be converted into many styles. This one right now is in a backpack form, but it is water resistant and it is a very structured. I am hoping to bring this. I have to put everything in my suitcase and hope that there's space for this. But if I do, this could be more like for my city, like walking around. The, this bag can be folded down flat. This one unfortunately cannot. So I'm hoping that I do have space for it. We'll see. But yeah, I, I just thought this would be a little bit more fashionable. I don't have any dresses uh, to this trip. It's not that kind of trip, but I'm hoping to add a little bit something girly in here and this is it. And because this one was fairly uh, water resistant when I went to the Hawaii hiking waterfalls, I thought I'd give it a try in Iceland. The last bit that I'm gonna talk about are accessories. I mean, obviously there are toiletries and stuff that I would bring, but in terms of what else I could show you are accessories. I have my hat here. This one um, is not waterproof, but if it gets very, very sunny, then I have this option. It's very thin, you can fold it up, it can dry really quickly. I also have this really cute hanger, which is foldable and it is a travel hanger, but if I am going to be washing or drying stuff, it can hang up like this in the camper van. So this one is fairly lightweight. Um, again, found on Amazon, I can link it below if you're interested. I also have this really cute beanie. This one is, I think, cashmere merino wool. It's very nice, very snuggly, very white, so hopefully I don't get it too dirty, but I love this little pom-pom. Hope to get some really cute outfit photos with it. <laughs> I do have two sets of swimsuit um, because if we're going to the baths or you know hot springs, we're gonna need it. So I have one that is a red one, one shoulder red one. Um, I had I, this one's from Sea Folly, um, and then the other one, which is newer, is this purple la lilac lavender, whatever you call it, two piece. And yeah, it's 
swimsuit. <laughs> I brought two options in case one is wet and hasn't dried yet. So I just, they're, they're just two. And the last thing I guess to show you is this. This is a towel. It's a terry cloth towel, which you can also wrap to kind of create like um, a bandeau area. So it, it basically keeps your towel from falling, even if you don't hold on to it, which is, I think, a great thing to have, especially if I'm going to be showering. Like we're no, we don't have a hotel room, so I'm going to be showering. So um, I want to make sure that the towel stays on while I'm like doing stuff. And yeah, so I, I don't know how that's going to work. I hope everything goes well. But yeah, this is the towel that I would be bringing. I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you that I'm going to bring. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you would like to see my actual trip, definitely subscribe and hopefully it'll be up soon with my tips, tricks, and recommendations. If you would like to see my outfit or follow me while I'm on this trip, definitely check out my Instagram at clutch to carry all where I'll be putting a lot more photos, um, reels, stories of my trip. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!